Hey there. Welcome to another edition of The Smoking Den. I'm your host for this evening, Smokey Dan. And today we got the uh, all-time best-selling handmade cigar in the U.S. Up for review. There's no doubt if you're a cigar smoker, even if you're new to the cigar smoking world, you've heard of Macanudo. And today I've got a Macanudo that I've been aging now for a couple of years. Um, it's the Hyde Park, the regular line. Uh, it's 49 inch ring gauge, 5.5 inches by length. It has a uh, very beautiful, um, it's a little veiny, but it's very nice construction. Uh, Connecticut shade natural leaf wrapper. has a Mexican binder um, and Dominican filler. The question I want to know is why is it the best selling cigar in America? What is it about this that makes people flock to it in droves and buy it more than Arturo Fuente, more than Padron, more than uh, Davidoff, more than so many other wonderful cigars out there? The Macanudo is certainly consistent. Every one I've ever seen has just been beautifully constructive. Really, a really nice cigar. The uh, the draw is just perfect on this. Really, completely effortless. Very mild, which I was expecting, and uh, there's definitely some sweet cedar flavor coming in. Um, I'll tell you, they, uh, it retails anywhere between six and seven dollars a cigar. Which is a fairly medium price point for cigars, and maybe one of the reasons why this is such a big seller that, you know, you get all that quality. It, you know, a relatively reasonable price for cigars. Something complex about this cedar taste. I mean, it's pretty much all a cedar taste, but there's something complex about it. And I'm going to dig into this over the next few inches to see what's going on. And we'll get back to you in a couple seconds in your YouTube screen with the verdict. And we're back for the verdict on this Macanudo. Um, I gotta tell you, those sweet cedar flavors that I was tasting in the beginning really haven't changed very much. Yep. Uh, to quote the uh, Talking Heads, I believe, the same as it ever was. And this certainly is. It's extremely mild and for about the first half, I was getting a few little complexities on the finish. I thought I might be tasting a little bit of coffee, beans, um, but real light. And I'm not getting any of it in the uh, second half, though. It's, all that's died down. I suppose my biggest grape with the cigar is probably the reason it's such a hot seller. And that's that it's very easy to smoke. I mean, it's got a good mouth feel, um, draws perfect, you know what you're getting into. Um, easy to sit back and not think about what you're smoking because there's not much to think about. And I like a cigar that makes me sit down and think and has a lot of complexities and, and just has a lot of different things going on, a lot of flavors. This is very one dimensional. got a uh, rather gray ash, um, not quite as nice as I was expecting it would be from Macanudo. Um, overall, and I know this is not going to hurt the uh, sales of Macanudo, nor am I trying to get it to hurt the sales, but I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. And it's, it's a decent cigar in its own right, 
And I will give this one caveat to that rating. If you're very new to smoking cigars, if you've never smoked a cigar before, the Macanudo is a great place to start and get acquainted with what cigars are like. Because this is very inoffensive, very, like I say, very easy to smoke, um, sweet cedar. So if you're new to cigars, it's not going to disappoint, um, or it'll just tell you you don't like cigars. If you're a cigar connoisseur, you know, even at six to seven dollars, you got things that are a lot better. And but you probably already know that if you're watching the videos and you smoke cigars. So until next time, keep smoking. We'll see you around.